Good morning, good afternoon, soldiers of the movement, first and foremost. Um, so this is just going to be a quick little video of what's going on. Listen, I talked to all you guys last year uh, before I left for a little bit due to the things you already know about, about what was going to be going down with famed builders and artists that pretty much have a ring. Um, it's just one major click. Not all of them are bad, but they're clicked up pretty damn big. There are artists out there like Copio Banco who just are humble and mind their own. Um, and then there's artists out there like Safiri who are just bitch made. I mean, what else you want me to say? Bottom line. <coughs> who talk about, inf you know, guys that supposedly are running a legitimate business and organization and building great custom machines for artists to elevate and uh, supply them with and not allowing the public to have access because everybody is just a, such a dirty ass scratcher that spreads disease and hep C. Let me ask you a question. When did MRSA become community associated when what was the year I know why did Walmart put Sani wipes in the front of every single enter, entry and exit what was the purpose what was that from that was about MRSA but was it a scratcher who caused that or was it a baby who got MRSA on a shopping cart Listen, it's going far right now. Call me a crackhead, call me a gangster, call me what the fuck you want to call me. My education level is low, blah, 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 blah. I say, thank you. I work hard at what I do. I've always worked hard at what I do. Do I care? Of course I care. You know. When you are a human being and a person on this planet that has a big heart and is genuine and you're real and you try to keep shit real and you have passion and you, and you have these things and then you have these fucking haters out there that swarm together and just like barrel down on you, of course you're going to care a little bit. In reality, behind this camera, I'm not hated by anybody. You know what I mean? I, I've never had real true enemies and shit. Never. My whole life. I knew I was going to get hate for doing this. I had a decision to make before even the first video dropped. Um, I already knew that the, a company would arise. I knew what, what it was going to be. It's not my only company that I've envisioned in my life. It's not the only inventions or... Uh, criteria that I've followed for inventions and innovative ideas. I've been an innovator since I was a child. Go, go, gadget, fucking yeah. Okay? Basically, I'm like that Asian kid on Goonies, bro. What do you want me to do? It's in my blood. Uh, the thing is, is that most of you guys don't know me on that level. You don't listen long enough before you start spewing out your hate. You know what? Hate drives this planet. You go ahead and follow the rest of everybody. Seth, you just talk major shit, dude. You know what I mean? I look into your eyes and I see a spoiled kid. You're older than me probably by the looks of things. But you are like the most immature, pompous fuck I've ever even gave my time to ever which <laughs> most of the times bro I'm playing with your head go ahead I'm delusional I'm gonna act it I'm crazy I'll act it yeah straight black coffee up working a materialist um Reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, taking care of my kids, um, 
designing shit. Um, because what this is truly about is not you. The scratcher that I see is not the crackhead China machine using fucking methamphetamine abuser. That, that's not what I see. That doesn't care and just uses needle after needle after needle. Yeah, you guys could smirk and laugh and joke and but listen. Seth, dude, seriously. Your machines are cool, but you ain't God. And I know a billion motherfuckers. It's a little over exaggerated. I know a lot of people that don't like your style and especially don't like you. You're going to have hate. You have hate just like I have hate. I have more hate because I'm standing up for a cause that's been hated for a long time. When people first began tattooing, they mumbled to each other to communicate. And hit shit. Okay? You didn't invent it. Nor do you own it. <clears throat> You don't, dude. None of you do. And I tried to keep it quiet, okay? I'm on Instagram. Some shit popped off. It was one, two, three. Okay, cool. You had your little workhorse click. Workhorse comes back and says, well, we have nothing to do with that. We have nothing against you. We just have builders on board. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. No, you won't. No, you won't. Someone has a bad machine design and you don't solve it. How are you going to solve one of your famed builders knowing that my mom had passed away from cancer and I watched her every fucking minute praying that she wouldn't go because it came out of the blue? Knowing that and then deliberately stating an obscenity, a grotesque one, you, what are you going to do to handle that? That's integrity, man. You, you call me unprofessional? Are, are you serious? This isn't high school where these are cracking mama jokes. I seriously went through a dilemma. And you know, this really, it hurts my character up here because I have to do this. But I have to get this out of my chest. I should be up here teaching people what I know. Which isn't much, but it's something. I know not to buy Chinese tattoo machines. I know that... Uh, Chinese coils are uh, uh, copper plated over aluminum alloy. I know that their A bars are nickel plated over alloys. I know that their wire cut frames are shit garbage. I know that the geometry is wrong. I know that they're knocking even your machines off, Seth. But guess what? I'm against all that, and you're against me. You see the problem here? You see me as a scratcher because I didn't go through an apprenticeship and scrub toilets. No, I went to the military and scrub toilets. I'm sorry. I didn't have time. I wasn't allowed to. I didn't have money. I was too young at the time. And I had to go a different way in my life. It's always been my passion. I've been drawing since I was a newborn. Seriously. Got a hold of some crayons and some makeup and put it all over my face. First drawing I ever did. And my sister. And all the way through life, drawing. And trying to elevate and loving the art. You're going to try to take that away from me? Now I love machines. I once used Chinese machines and didn't understand why it was sputtering, why it was doing this. I didn't know the nomenclature. I didn't know the works. I didn't know the parts. I didn't know the geometry. Then I found the difference. And I said, holy shit. This is it for me. This is what I want to do. I've always carved, I've always done things, I've always painted, I've always done things, built, used my hands, exemplified the true meaning of what man means, which is the thinker, but I, I'm sure your intelligent ass knows this already, since you're so freaking intelligent, Cesar you're Italian, you must be intelligent, I'm Sicilian, you can go to hell, BAM! My point with this little quick 10 minute video is keep hating on this page. You are pissed off because I hit points. I don't care if you're from Baltimore, bro. 
I don't care if you're from Pennsylvania. I don't care that I'm from Cali. I don't even want to be here anymore. Who cares? My objective is to help people that want to help themselves. They can't afford apprenticeships and they don't have time. They have jobs and they have kids. But they want to learn. It's a passion. It's not only a hobby. It's a fucking magical passion that should be free for everybody. You understand that? No, you don't. So you keep making your money. You keep making your machines. You keep going against people like me and saying that I'm a piece of crap and I'll never make it in this life. Congratulations, Dad. You're awesome. Keep judging me. Do what you got to do. The only thing that I can do is prove what comes out of this piece. There are a lot of people involved in this movement. There are a lot of great artists in this movement. We are probably some of the most passionate fucking people I've ever seen in my life. We have to dig, research, and study, and try to figure it out, and look at it, and pay attention to find minute details. Learning things in the movement that you're not going to learn in an apprenticeship, that's a fact. Do you know how many times I have had someone that's in a current apprenticeship tell me, geez, <laughs> I'm really not learning anything in my apprenticeship now that I'm on this page or your channel. That's a problem. Seth, you were taken under somebody's wing, just like all you guys out there that are in this little clique. You had a chance. How about instead of coming against me and telling me I'm doing wrong, why don't you get up here and make videos for us since we don't know what we're doing? There's enough room in this world for all of us. Get up here and train us. Help me boycott Chinese fucking imports and knockoffs, including your machines. Help me. Help me. Band together. I'm willing. It's not about fame or fortune. I can be famous or fortunate somewhere else and doing something else. I'm not a stupid human being. And I've got many visions. This one, though, is my passion and my goal. I have many visions. With those visions come innovations and concepts. When you walk around life and you look at everything... Don't you realize that it was guys like me that made it possible because they were given a chance to take what was in here and put it out here? We got a little help from friends upstairs with all this technology, but the human being was meant and sent here to learn. Talk about college. We're all in college. Life is a college. But it's people like you that are trying to prevent people like me, people like the movement, from getting into their passions. You can't take art away from people. You can't take machine building away from me. I'm the kind of guy that's going to change it. I'm delusional. Do I think I can change the world? No. But I can change some of it. I already am. The only thing you're doing is building quality products for people that are is highly respected. Thank you. But you're not doing what I'm doing. You're not helping the less fortunate or the people that really want the help. You are categorizing a cliched phrase, scratcher, okay, into a group of of what you call shit. Is that fair? Do you even take the time. To look at the work. Have you looked at my inventions. My innovations. Have you even attempted to see what I'm about. Nope. You judged me right off the bat. Now. I know what kind of person you are. Right off the bat. I gave you my number Seth. 
Are you too scared to call? I'm not jocking you, homeboy. I will whip out my penis and piss on your machine. And if you get too close to me, I'll piss on you. Don't, you're threatening now and you're, you're doing stupid things. I don't want this on the channel, man. But I want this off my chest. You're bombarding my channel with all your little friends and trying to make shit look bad. You're not going to win. We're global and we're too strong. I don't give a shit if it's three people from different countries or it's 30,000 people coming together. This is strong and there's nothing you can do about it and you're afraid. Instead of doing what you're doing, Seth, how about you talk to me like a man? How about you see what I'm about and then judge me since you think and feel that you can place judgment on people? The movement's strong and it has very, very talented people in it. It has very passionate people in it. And it has people that I care for in it. And you know what? Already to some I've seen them elevate. So far up the scale that I, I, I didn't even think that, you know, it was possible. I knew that not having the right tools would impede on outcomes of, of, you know, art and skin. But I didn't know how much. I found out a lot, bro. You guys talk about disease and spreading this and scratch work and, hey, let me fix your, uh, you keep doing it and I, we got to fix your guys' stuff. You know what? Stop contributing to the sales of cheap Chinese products from overseas, cheap Chinese ink that have microbacteria in it, causing infections all over the place. You want to talk about some shit? Stop making it possible for these Chinese corporations to make scratchers fail. How about you sell your products to the public? Huh? How about this? Prerequisite. If you are blood-borne pathogen and cross-contamination certified, you are allowed to order from my site. What's so hard with that? That is the only certifications that you get as a tattoo artist. You're not a doctor, bro. You didn't get your master's or your fucking PhD in tattooing. Now you got lucky and someone showed you some very, very secretive tips. We're going to change all that. Fuck you guys. Movement, I love you. All right, movement. Uh, yeah, so a lot of dust right here right now, but uh, what this is is a full-blown paint booth. It's a little big for tattoo machines, but you get the drift and the point. It's awesome. Um, basically, what this is is it's a barn, but it's not a barn. It is a full-blown workshop and it's a vehicle shop so we're gonna be setting up shop alongside of the vehicles and uh, we have each side a lot of tools a lot of things utilized in a full paint booth right here where it's got the whole HVAC system it's uh, adequately lighted and it's particle free real dusty right now because of uh the summer and they haven't they painted this one but it you know basically leave the door open but all we do is clean it up a little bit um all of our stuff can be hanging right in the back right there the machines we have buckets to where we do the dip and we experiment with the, the dipping paint which is going to be awesome so yeah i can get a wider view 